BC, what's going on? Chris, uh, coming back here with another video. Um, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. Got some good new vinyl finds. Um, all these are new records that I've gotten over the last... It's probably been a couple months. Um, Barnes & Noble, a couple Christmas albums, stuff like that. But I typically like to group my new records together and make a video. Don't ask me why, I just do. Right now we're listening to uh, old classic here, Art Blakey Jazz Messengers with Thelonious Monk. Nice uh, first stereo pressing on that. In case you're wondering. So first up, um, I've shown this group before. Uh, punk band, one of my favorites. Um, I guess it's kind of indie rock too. It's, uh, they just re-released it on vinyl. Actually, I think it was the first time it was ever on vinyl. Face to face, ignorance is bliss. Lead singer Trevor Keith, it's on his uh, record label, Antagonist Records. So it's like a sea green color. Um, yeah, just great indie, kind of uh, punk. Um, I don't know, it's from 1999. I really need to start doing more uh, needle drops, but. Oh well, such is life. Just don't have the time. Uh, next, um, been wanting this one for a while. Uh, I don't listen to a lot of new country artists, but uh, she is really fantastic and this album is great. Casey Musgraves. This is the uh, same trailer, different park. Um, I think this won a Grammy for best country album. Um, Merry Go Round, I think, was the, the really big hit off of here. You know, Mama's hooked on Mary Kay, um, Daddy's hooked on the girl two doors, Mary two doors down. So, pretty good writing, um, great singing, and not too bad on the eyes as well. Man, kind of noticed uh, as I get closer, it kind of goes out of focus, but sorry about that. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, nice little album, and check it out if you haven't already. Next one, uh, I'm really trying to complete my Metallica discography um, with, you know, original pressings, and this was a nice step in the right direction. Um, I think I only have one album now, one album now that uh, I need, so this is uh, Load. Really nice uh, first pressing on that. Super clean copy. Um, ended up finding one on Discogs, so very, very cool. I didn't like this album when it first came out, uh, 1996. I was in high school, <clears throat> and uh, it kind of grew on me, you know, uh, Until It Sleeps, King Nothing, Hero of the Day, Ain't My Bitch. Just a really, I mean, I, I kind of enjoy this album now. Let me know what you think about that. I know a lot of people don't like Load, but I enjoy it. Next, uh, oh, this was a Barnes & Noble find. This is a Sublime Secondhand Smoke. This is from uh, 1997 on Gasoline Alley. It's kind of like a uh, comp album, I guess you could say. Um, it's the first time it was ever on vinyl, though. Um, you know, they have some remixes of Doing Time, um, Trenchtown Rock, uh, Bad Fish. Uh, April 29th, 1992 is on here. Um, just some kind of like alternate takes of some of their songs. So um, if it wasn't half off, I probably wouldn't have got it. It's not a crucial, if you're a big Sublime fan, it's kind of cool. But other than that, it's probably not a crucial record to get, you know, for the mild fan. Next one was also a Barnes & Noble find. I'm getting back to a little bit of jazz here. This is more jazz, you know, hip hop. This is Robert Glasper Experiment. Black Radio 2. Ah, gate fold on open there. Oh. There's a lot of um, collaborations on here on this album. Um, definitely got a hip hop kind of feel to it. Um, this is, I think, the second one. Yeah, the first one, I think, won a Grammy, I believe. I want to say, but uh, soulful, um, hip-hop, uh, jazz, obviously, 
um, but uh, the song I really like is the last song on the entire album. It's called Jesus Children, featuring uh, Lala Hathaway and uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner from the Cosby Show. Um, very nice album. Uh, he's someone that I want to pick up more of. Sorry, guys. Definitely someone I want to pick up more of, but, uh, you know, funds and always, the used records always take priority, it seems like. Uh, I always take for granted the new records are always going to be there, you know. Next one, also I have Price Books, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. On Dap Tone, of course. Um, Soul of a Woman is the name of this. Uh, 2017. And I think this is uh, the last album she recorded um, before she passed away. Um, cancer, I believe. But she pretty much recorded this entire album when she was in pretty bad shape. Um, pretty remarkable because you can't even tell her voice sounds as good as ever. Um, just a very nice album. Um, I don't know. I mean, what else to say about Sharon Jones and the Atkins? Soulful. Um, just, you know, super, super nice band. There you go. This was a fun one I got for uh, Christmas. Not one I would have ever bought myself, but just, I don't know. But uh, this is Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra, the Capitol Studio Sessions. You can watch some of these on uh, YouTube. They're just fun, fun, fun. Um, nice gatefold. 2018 on Decca, but uh, my favorite track off of here is uh, My Baby Just Cares For Me with uh, Haley Reinhardt. Just, I mean, he's not going to wow you with his piano playing, and in fact most of his uh, ensemble does most of the soloing and stuff like that, but um, just, you know, being an actor, he has a way up there, you know, playing the piano and sing it for me, Haley, you know, and she's playing back banter with him, just like a, like a lounge, you know, and it's just, it's, I think it's just really enjoyable. I think it's just a fun album to put on, you know, if you have people over or something like that, dinner party, but, uh, yeah, pretty neat. Check it out. Next one was also a half-price book sale. Curtis Counts, you get more bounce with Curtis Counts on uh, Contemporary, this OJC, 1957 was when it originally came out. Um, Jack Sheldon, Harold Land uh, play on this as well. Um, Bop with some kind of like smooth jazz kind of mixed in with it. Definitely like a West Coast type of feel, but I love Curtis Counts. Um, always on the lookout for his OG stuff. Just never seems to pop up or, you know, wrong timing. So this was nice to get. This was like 10 bucks, Barnes & Noble. Um, oh yeah, this is also, I guess I'm showing all my Barnes & Noble in this video. This is uh, Chet Baker, Chet is Back, 1962, on red vinyl, RCA. This was actually recorded in Rome. Um, it was never released um, until the 90s in the U.S., so you can only get it like, um, you know, Italian original presses back in the 60s. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little recording. Um, Bobby Jasper and the great uh, guitar player Renee Thomas. Uh, some other notable musicians on here. Um, they have a rendition of uh, "Over the Rainbow," which is uh, actually pretty great. One of the one of the best I've heard. So, just a nice, uh, nice Chet Baker, half off. Uh, next one. Always looking for albums from this group. So Oasis. Don't believe in the truth. I believe this is like their sixth album. Any Oasis half off, I will definitely take that. Um, Lila was a great song off of here. Turn Up the Sun. Um, I don't think any of the other ones really got too big. I think Lila was just a real big one off of here. But uh, it's a really good album. It was kind of not one I listened to uh, their discography a lot, so I was real happy to pick that up for half off. Oasis usually you never find on sale because they're pretty popular. Next, another Oasis that I got for Christmas. This is definitely maybe one of their famous albums. Their first one. 
This is a repress, obviously, but uh, this is on Creation. Um, just a great, great, I mean, Live Forever. It's just well, probably one of my favorite Oasis tracks. Um, Supersonic, also just a, you know, great song. Up in the Sky, I mean, sh you know, Shaker Maker, Rock and Roll, I'm gonna be a rock and roll star. I mean, the Gallagher's are just geniuses. Um, nice to have that. I think my parents got that for me. It was on my wish list for a while. Never pulled the trigger, so. All right, next we have Dexter Gordon. Take the A-Train. This is on the uh, Black Lion label. This is uh, 1967, I believe. Yeah, 1967. Um, it was recorded in Denmark. Uh, Kenny Drew, uh, the great uh, Nils Orsted Peterson. Uh, just really, really nice. And just a really great pressing, too. These Black Lion reissues um, are really, really nice. So, um, that was a nice pickup. Uh, this one is also on Black Lion. It's Thelonious Monk, The London Collection, Volume 1. This is on uh, Orange Vinyl. It's also, both these are half price, both, or not, Barnes & Noble, half off. So, uh, 1971, uh, like I said, on Black Lion. Um, so, solo recording, um, and from what I read, this is one of his last recordings. Um, but uh, I think he did like three, three or four of these in total. Um, just a really nice pressing. These Black Lion reissues, like I said on that, uh, Dexter Gordon are very, very nice. So don't hesitate to pick one of those up if you see it. And one I've been wanting for a while, and originals seem to just keep eluding me. Um, this is only the maybe second or third. I have like the, you know, that compilation Love Revisited or whatever, but. Uh, this is Love Self-Titled from 1966 on Electra. Obviously, everybody knows about Love. I'm not going to go into too great detail about it. Arthur Lee is just freaking incredible. Genius. Um, you know, definitely like a birdsy influence in here. Uh, My Little Red Book. Just a great track. So, it was nice to get that half off. Also, another one from Barnes & Noble. Uh, Prophets of Rage. Um, two, 2017 on Fantasy Records. It's like a, I think this was a standard issue. It's like a red and black kind of vinyl. Album's okay. Um, it's not Rage and it's not Public Enemy. So, I don't know. Um, obviously Supergroup with Tom Morello, Chuck D, Be Real. Um, it's just decent, you know? I need to listen to it a couple more times, maybe, but let me know your thoughts on that one as well. I was really kind of hoping for more, I guess, but such is life. This one I was really happy to pick up, also at Barnes & Noble. Sarah Watkins, I think uh, Brian Shamrock and Records showed this as well, he picked it up. Um, we kind of share the love of uh, Nickel Creek. Um, she was a founding member. I don't know if they're still a group or not, and they're still on vacation or hiatus or whatever you want to call it, but uh, yeah, it's a nice album. Uh, Young and All the Wrong Ways. Um, 2016 on uh, New West Records. And the cool thing about this, I think Brian might have showed it. But it came with her signature. So, it's kind of, you know. Neat little bonus, I guess you could say, but just a really nice, uh, folky singer-songwriter album from uh, Sarah Watkins. Um, I think this is her third album, so now I just need one more and I'll have all her solo stuff. This one is a hefty one here. One I've been wanting for a while, Nathaniel Rateliff in the Night Sweats, Tearing at the Seams. This is on uh, Stax Records from 2018. It's their follow-up to their uh, pretty popular first album. This is the Deluxe Edition. has a nice book. And it's also got a 7-inch uh, record in here as well, but I don't really feel like pulling out right now. But um, I think uh, You Worry Me was a you know song that did pretty well off here. 
but uh, it's just more of the same from Nathaniel Rateliff. Um, hey Mama um, was one of my, you know, my faves off of here, but good stuff. Um, that was kind of pricey, but you know, with the half off, it made it doable. So that's kind of what I, I, I treated the Barnes and Noble sale off as records that I probably wouldn't have got, but you know, made it accessible. Uh, as this one, another Sublime from Barnes & Noble, Sublime Acoustic from 1998, also on Gasoline Alley. Um, pretty much a lot of their hits off of here. Uh, Wrong Way, um, Garden Grove, KRS-One, um, just, you know, kind of cool stuff. Sublime being Sublime. Uh, also Barnes & Noble. Margot Price, this was like nine bucks or eight bucks or something. All American made. 2017 on Third Man Records. Um, folky singer songwriter, just kind of like Sarah Watkins, but maybe a little bit more country flavor on this um, than Sarah Watkins. Um, I don't know if this is her. I know it's her most recent album, but I don't know if this is her. I think this is her second, not her first. Um, yeah, A Little Pain, Weakness. They're all nice little tracks. Uh, none of them really stood out to me as, you know, being like a hit or anything like that, but um, nah, nice album. Nice to listen to. Ah. Alright, next one, Evanescence. Pretty cool, The Open Door. This is their third album on Wind Up Records. Um, this one had Sweet Sacrifice. Um, and then the hit, uh, Call Me When You're Sober. Um, Amy Lee, I mean, such a tremendous voice. I really love, love her voice and just with the, the music. Always been a fan of Evanescence. Need to pick up their debut album because that's one of my faves as well. So that was a nice uh, rock album to get. And we'll close it off with this one. Uh, one that I wanted off of... Uh, I think I got this from uh, Deep Discount on eBay or something. Thelonious Monk, Le Liaison Dangerous, 1960. So just, I mean, a really, really nice recording. Um, 2017 on Sam Records, which is out of France. I have several of their um, reissues that they do. They really do a good job. Um, it was actually recorded for this French film, which is Le Liaison. Dangerous in 1960, but it was never used, I don't think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it was ever used. Um, but uh, Zev Feldman of Resonance Records um, was digging through Bernie Weiland's manager's archives in France and came across this unreleased Ammonious Monk. So uh, just a nice album with him at the top of his game releasing this. So pretty, pretty cool. And that's it. We made it. Um, those are all new records. Um, hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, I got Steve Carlson and uh, Andre Linda Leg coming in town this week. I'm going to go do some digging on Wednesday and Thursday. So really looking forward to that. Take them to some stores that they haven't been to. Uh, Steve's only been to one, I think. So um, yeah, come at you guys this weekend probably with another video with some finds. I found some amazing stuff at the record show this last Saturday. If you follow me on Instagram and uh, uh, see what I've been posting on Facebook, just some, I mean, this guy had, I spent way too much money, but he had such good stuff, I couldn't, I couldn't let it sit there. What are you gonna do? And this guy, I mean, I let Bill Evans' Sunday Village Vanguard go for a smoking deal. I just, I couldn't pay that on top of what I was already buying, so. Anyways, uh, hope you guys are all doing well, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.